Hello boys and girls, we hope you're doing well at home. We're missing you more and more at school, so we hope you're taking care. Today we're gonna to be talking about money, but counting money. And this is a skill you're gonna learn and use all your life. So it's gonna be something that's really important. So make sure you're paying attention. As we learn today, our goal will be, I can count coins and find the total in cents and dollars. Throughout this activity, you may need paper and pencil, so please make sure you grab that right away. You can also use something else to write on and write with. Pause the video as you get your supplies ready. So to review, we have a penny, and a penny is worth how much? Yes, one cent, good work. And here on the back, it has the Lincoln Memorial with Abraham Lincoln right in the middle there, and he is on the front as well. Then we have a nickel, how much is a nickel worth? Yes. Five cents, good work. A nickel is worth five cents. A dime, you've got it, 10 cents. And a quarter. You are so smart, yes, a quarter is worth 25 cents. So we have a dollar bill, a dollar is worth 100 cents, or one dollar. Then if we look at the five dollar bill, take a second to think about, do you know how many cents are in a five dollar bill? If you said 500 cents, you've got it. Good work. So we have coins here, and you can see that the penny is smaller than the nickel, but the dime is probably the smallest coin out there. If you look at it compared to the penny, it's a little bit smaller. And then we have the quarter and the 50 cent piece. Today we're not going to be talking much about the 50 cent piece. So to start today, I'm going to be using some coins to count money. I'm going to show you how I count money, and then we'll do some together and then you'll get to do some on your own. So here, I'm gonna sort out my money by coins that are the most cents. So we have a quarter, which is 25 cents, so I'm gonna pull the quarter aside. Then our next biggest coin money-wise is our dime, so I'm gonna pull that aside and that's 10 cents. Then I'm gonna put my nickel, which is five cents, and my pennies. So as I count through, it would be 25, 35, 45, and now I'm going to start counting by fives, 50, and then I'm going to count by ones, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. So when I write that out, it would be 57 cents, and here is the cent sign. Now if I wanted to write it with a dollar sign instead, I have zero dollars, so I'm going to put a zero in front of the decimal. And then 50 cents it goes behind the decimal. So let's count it one more time to make sure that 57 cents was right. So we have 25, because that quarter is worth 25 cents. Then we're going to count the dime for 10 cents. So 25, 35, 45, and go up five more. So 50, because the nickel is worth five. And then we're going to count by ones, because pennies are worth one. So 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. Good work, 57 cents. So here again, I have lots of coins, so I'm gonna separate them out as I'm counting, because it makes it a little bit easier if you can count all the quarters together, and then the dimes, and then the nickels, and then the pennies. So I have my quarters separated, so 25, 50, 75, how many of you know how many quarters goes into a dollar? If you said four, you're right, because it would be 25, 50, 75, and another quarter would make it a dollar or 100. So 25, 50, 75, then I'm going to sort out my dimes. So 25, 50, 75, 85, 95, 105, 115. So I have $1.15, then I'm gonna sort out my nickels. So 15, 20, 25, 30, and then I'm gonna sort out my pennies. So $1.30, and then 31, 32, 33, 34. So my total would be $1.34. So notice the cents goes after the decimal place point. So here we have 34 cents. Good work. Now we're going to do some together. So I'm going to separate them out, and then I'm going to have you count with me. 
So a dollar is worth 100 cents, but we're just going to count it as a dollar. And then we have our quarters. So one dollar, 25, 50. Say it with me. 25, 50. Good. So we have one dollar, 50 cents right now. Then we're going to add our dimes. So ready? One dollar, 25, 50, 60, 70, 80. So we have one dollar, 80 cents. Count it with me one more time. One dollar, 25, 50, 60, 70, 80. Nice work. Now we're going to sort out our nickel. So one dollar, count them with me. 25, 50, 60, 70, 80. Now we're going to count by five. So 85. And then our pennies. So let's count it all together. Ready? One dollar, 25, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85. Now we're going to count by ones. 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93. So we have $1.93, which would look like that. Is that what you counted too? Great work. We're going to do it a little bit different this time. I am going to have you count it with me, but first I'm going to have you count it separately by yourself. So... Here I have my dollar bills separated. Notice there's one, two, three dollars, okay? One quarter, three dimes, and five pennies. Go ahead and take a second and count and write down what you think there was. Pause the video to give yourself more time. Let's count it together. One, two, three dollars. Then we're going to start with the quarter, so 325. Counting by tens now for the dimes. 25, 35, 45, 55, and then we're going to count by ones for our pennies. So $3.55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Good job. So we have the total of $3.60. Give me a thumbs up if that's what you had. Great work. If you didn't have that, that's all right. Try going back and counting again. Now I'm going to sort it out again and let you count. So one quarter, three dimes, three nickels, six pennies. Go ahead and pause the video, count how many cents there are, write it down, and then we'll count together. All right, are you ready to count? Start with the quarter. 25. Good. 35, now we're counting by 10, so 25, 35, 45, 55, and now we're going to start counting by fives. So we're at 55, 60, 65, 70. Now we're going to start counting by ones. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. So you could write it like this, 76 cents or $0.76. So remember, we have that decimal point to separate our dollars and our cents. Now, we're going to try a different one. We went to a garage sale and we found the game Battleship. And we love Battleship, so we want to buy it, but it's $6.59. I want you to draw on your paper what $6.59 would look like. Now, you don't have to draw the faces of the presidents on there, but I want you to write 25 in the middle of the circle for a quarter, 10 for a dime, five for a nickel, and one for a penny. And you can make the circles around there to make it look like a coin, but to make it a little bit easier than drawing all those faces. And then for a dollar, you could draw a rectangle and write one in the middle, or five if you would need that. So go ahead and pause the video and draw out how you would make $6.59. P.S. There's more than one right answer for this part. So, the way that I'm choosing to make $6.59 is with a $5 bill and a $1 bill to make my $6. And then I'm going to use two quarters to make 50 cents, 25, 50. Then I'm going to go a nickel to make it 55. And then pennies, 56, 57, 58, 59. Now, you could have used dimes instead of quarters. 
or you could have used, you could have given them $6.60 and got a penny back, or you could have used six $1 bills instead, or four quarters to represent a dollar. However you did it, have your parent check and see if it equals $6.59. But before you do that, double count to make sure that you did it the way you thought you did, and that it equals $6.59. Good work. Now we're going to do a quick exit quiz. And so you're going to need a clean piece of paper. You can flip it over your worksheet that you were doing, or your work paper that you were doing. And number one through five. Now four and five are going to be ones where you're drying out like you just did. So make sure you leave enough space for that. So count the money on each slide and write your answer or draw out the coins and bills you would need. So number one, here are your coins. You have one quarter, one nickel, three dimes, and two pennies. Go ahead and write your answer for number one on how many cents total. Make sure to use your cent sign after your, num your answer, or you could write it with a dollar sign, a zero, a decimal, and then your answer. Pause the video if you need more time. Number two, how many dollars and cents? So here we have three quarters, two dimes, one nickel, and four pennies. How many dollars and cents? Pause the video if you need more time. One $5 bill, two $1 bills, a quarter, one nickel, one dime, three pennies. Now, your teachers have been working really hard at school and they're trying to make sure to send home really fun things for you to be doing and still learning at the same time, but they're really missing you. So, wouldn't it be fun if we could get them flowers? Pretend that these flowers are for your teacher and you're going to buy them, but you need to draw out the money to buy them. So, draw or show, if you have coins at home, you can play with those coins and dollars to show it too and take a picture instead of drawing it out. So draw or show the total in dollars and coins for $7.39. Go ahead and pause the video and do that. Now your parents or the people you live with have been working really, really hard to help you through school. And this isn't something that they're used to either. So we want to say thank you to them too for all their hard work to help you. And you can have a donut too. So... Go ahead and draw out or show, if you have coins with you too, you can draw out or show the total number in dollars and coins for these donuts, $4.87. Go ahead and pause the video and draw that out or show it and take a picture. Now there's a challenge activity. If you have coins and dollar bills or $5 bills at home, go ahead and create your own video counting money and share that with your teacher. This is optional, you don't have to do it, but if you would like to, you can. Once you're all finished, you can either take a picture of your work, questions one through five, and post it on Seesaw or email it to your teacher. Remember, if you used actual money, make sure to include those pictures as well and the number that it was for. Or you can put your work in a folder and send it back to school. If you were using real money, you want, might want to draw it out then for your teacher instead of sending real money to your teacher. All right. Thanks for working so hard today. And really have fun counting money at home. See if you can find money and keep practicing this skill because it's one you're going to use the rest of your life. Take care.